Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're going to be talking about running vulnerability scans with nmap, specifically using the vulner script. Now, this script is included in all modern installations of nmap, but if it's not included with yours, you can go ahead and do a git clone from their GitHub page, which will be included in the description. Running vulnerability scans against your servers is important because it allows you to catch issues that may have been overlooked. And especially in production systems, servers tend to not be patched as quickly as they should be. This is where the vulner script comes into play, and the way that it works is pretty simple. First, it finds an open port on the server and then tries to enumerate the software version that's running on that port. Once it has the software version, it queries a remote server to learn if there's any known vulnerabilities for that service. So the script heavily relies on being able to determine the software version running on the port, since it doesn't do any intrusive testing. So if it can't determine the software version, it's not going to show you any vulnerabilities, even if they do exist. This is bad because it's not as comprehensive as something like Ness's, but it's great for running on a production server since it doesn't do any intrusive testing and it's unlikely to crash anything. All right, let's go ahead and jump in and see how this works. So I've spun up a vulnerable machine and it's running on 1.240. So let's run the script against it. So we're going to run nmap sv, which is required. We're going to run tac tac script, and then that's going to be equal to vulners, and then we're going to run it as verbose, and then the IP address of the server. Now that it's completed, let's scroll up and take a look at the output. So the first thing we see on the left is the ID of the exploit. So this very top one here is an exploit database ID, and the one just below it is a CVE. And then next to that, we can see the CVS score, which is the common vulnerability scoring system. So anything that's 7.0 or above is considered high. On the next column over, we can see a link to a website to where we can find more information on that. And then the ones that actually say exploit on it, those are ones to where there's actually code that we can go out and run it against our server and exploit it ourselves. So once you have this information, the next step would be for you to confirm your findings. So you'll want to log into the server and take a look at the service that's running and confirm the version number matches what Inmap found. The next thing you'd want to do is go out to the website that it links here and read about the vulnerability. Because in there, it often shows you how to patch or resolve the issue. And you can normally do that by upgrading to the next version number. For example, if you're running WSFTP version 8.6, a vulnerability might be patched in version 8.7. Now, this is a lot of information that nmap has output. And a lot of these are often not very interesting. Like some of these 0.0s are just informational. So if you only want to look at the vulnerabilities that are considered high, you can rerun this command, but instead include the script args argument. So we'll put in tac tac script hyphen args, and then we'll use min cvss and then equal to 7.0, and then rerun it. And that's how you run a non-intrusive vulnerability scan in nmap using the vulner script. Remember, if you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.